I'm meteorologist John Dishour. Thanks for checking out my blog, New at Dishour. It is Tuesday, February 8th, about 12.50. Hope you're having a great afternoon. It's turning a little cooler outside. We've had a cold front passing through the area, and uh, temperatures will begin to fall off, if not hold steady through the afternoon, anywhere from the upper teens to uh, upper 20s to maybe even low 30s in northwestern Tennessee. So, but our big system, the big thing to talk about in the blog today is uh, a system that's moving through Kansas right now, and to be honest with you, is causing some headaches in the uh, forecast world uh, because it's still a lot of uncertainty as to what the system is going to do. Uh, right now, it is moving through Kansas and producing uh, light to moderate snows now from Dodge City over towards the Wichita. And the stuff you're seeing heading into uh, Springfield is not quite reaching the ground just yet, but this system is going to start to uh, dive to the south from what all the models are indicating and then begin to move off to the east. We have winter storm warnings that are now in effect for uh, Oklahoma, western Arkansas, and southeastern Kansas. Winter weather advisories in the uh, light blue across southwestern Missouri. And then we have winter storm watches that are in effect for the eastern half of Arkansas, uh, including northeast Arkansas and the Missouri Boot Heel. Uh, those are in effect through uh, for Wednesday through Wednesday night, and most likely those will be upgraded here uh, probably later this afternoon or this evening. Let's get to our precision cast. Here's our RPM model from the 15Z run, or the uh, 9 a.m. run of the model. The 18Z run is not in yet. Uh, here we go at 1 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. Uh, you're seeing some moisture coming in on the model. I think this is probably going to come down to some of that good old uh, radar snow for a little bit where the radars detect snow but it's not quite reaching the ground yet. Uh, here we go by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. You'll see the system beginning to slide around from uh, Kansas down through our Oklahoma into Arkansas and then move it'll eventually move off to the east headed towards Memphis. Here we are at 1 o'clock Wednesday afternoon with the heaviest concentration of snow to our south but still it's putting snow over the top of the KFES viewing area and then by 6 p.m. Wednesday it begins to exit and heading towards Nashville and Chattanooga and then by Thursday uh, it is out of here. In fact Thursday right now is looking kinda cool temperature of only 26 degrees. Let's take a look at what some of the models are indicating as far as how much snow we can get. And this is where it's really becoming kind of tricky. Uh, models are all over the place, to be honest with you. Here is our 15Z RPM run, uh, kind of in a wider view to give you an idea of how it's handling the snow, uh, indicating three and a half inches of snow towards Springfield, three and a half in West Plains, 4.8 down towards Memphis, and uh, heavier amounts uh, just to the west of there towards Little Rock, Fort Smith, Arkansas at 5 inches. I took a look at Jonesboro, Arkansas. It's indicating right at uh, 4 inches. And then it's putting down a band of 3.5 inch snow for the southern half of the Missouri Boot Heel. Here's a closer in view. Again, this is the 15Z run uh, as to how much snow it is indicating. Only a half inch of snow to our far north. Uh, upwards of 3 inches in Martin, Tennessee and 2.6 in Portersville. Uh, 2.5 in Poplar Bluff. But you can see that darker blue line uh, moving to over our southern counties. Uh, south of there is where we're above three inches and as I mentioned it's showing a band of maybe four to six or I should say four to uh, inches of snow down towards Jonesboro, Arkansas and this extreme southern Missouri boot heel down for instance down towards Kennett. I wanted to show you this. Uh, this is our NAM model um, using a, a, a logarithm called the uh, Kachera method uh, to give snow totals and you can see on the map um, it's indicating this is a five inch band of snow right here that would clip portions of Dunklin County. So generally in the three inch area we're talking, or the ye yellows, this is three inches of snow. Then we're talking a four inch snow for the Missouri Boot Hill, northwestern Tennessee, and then maybe five to as much as six inches down towards uh, Jonesboro, Arkansas. This is one model run, uh, the NAM. And the NAM typically all winter has not done a very good job. It's been a little overboard with the amount of snow. Uh, notice over in Kansas, it's indicating uh, upwards of 18 in inches of snow, and I, just, I don't think that's going to happen out there in Kansas. Uh, so we'll have to see how the storm does, or the model does, um, as it goes through time. Now to contrast that, here is the European model. Here we are Wednesday morning at 7 a.m., and notice it doesn't bring really nearly as much precipitation through the area. Uh, and then quickly it dries it out. To give you an idea as to the precipitation amounts we're talking about or how much liquid there is to work with this storm uh, coming off the European model. We'll let this run through here and you can see uh, we're talking anywhere from 400ths of an inch of rain to maybe 1300ths of an inch of rain. 
Now to give you an idea, tomorrow temperatures are going to be pretty cold. I'm forecasting a high of 23 degrees. Uh, if temperatures that cold, we're going to get a, sni a, a high snow ratio. Uh, we're talking probably a 16 to 1 to maybe even as high as a 20 to 1 snow. So let's just take Cape Girardeau for instance. 0 0.08 times 16, that would indicate 1.2. Uh, 0 0.08 times 20 would be 1.6. Down towards Portageville, uh, 16 to 1 snow would be just over 2 inches. A 20 to 1 snow would be 2.5. So um, that's what the European model is indicating. Let's take a look at the GFS. This is the uh, 12Z run of the GFS. Uh, doing a decent job with the placement of the precipitation for this evening. But then notice it really kind of dries it out. And again, by 3 o'clock Wednesday, takes it keeps it much more further south, uh, putting just a very tiny amount of precipitation over the top of us. Uh, here's the precip amount it's putting down. Uh, similar to the European, if not even a little, little drier, anywhere from one hundredth of an inch of liquid to as much as nine hundredths of an inch. So let's just do the math here quickly for Portageville. 16 to 1 snow would be 1.4. 20 to 1 snow would be 1.8 inches of snow. Um, again, that's just what the GFS model is indicating. So some models are going much higher with the precip amounts. The NAM, for instance, the RPM. Uh, model also, which op the RPM model uh, initializes off the NAM. The GFS and European models are coming in much, much drier. And that's the conundrum now between for all the forecasters is which model is right, which one isn't. Um, the snow that we had yesterday, none of the models handled correctly until the last minute. Um, so there's a lot of question marks. Um, right now, my thinking is there could be a maybe a two to four inch snow. Um, for extreme southern parts of the area, maybe from Poplar Bluff to New Madrid, maybe Sykeson over to, let's say, Mayfield, Kentucky, and south of there, uh, and then much lesser amounts n to the north of that line. All along, I've always thought we'd see heavier snow amounts for the southern counties and more so down across eastern Arkansas and western Tennessee. Um, but So right now, my thinking maybe two to four down to that portion, uh, maybe more than that if the models come in a little wetter. If the NAM were to be right, for instance, uh, maybe a five-inch snow is not out of the question. And we add that onto the snow that we've already got, and we'll have a pretty good amount of snow down for our southern counties, uh, good snowman w uh, weather. Although the snow that we get Wednesday will be a very dry snow. So that is the latest from here. Um, thanks for checking out the blog. Of course, check the radar at the top, and as more data comes in tonight, I'll try to update the blog and uh, give you the latest information. Have a great afternoon.